Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's session, let us have a look on the C programming interview questions. C. The first one What is the difference between break and continue? So this is a, a frequent question so we can expect so that is what is the difference between a break and continue so the main difference between this break and continue are the com first of all let us see the common things in between this break and continue so this break and continue statements will be used in only the iterative statements that means loops so these are used in loops so loops means for loop while or do while right so then what is the difference between the break and continue so here in every loop we will see the three concepts that is variable initialization second one condition third one updation of variable so we call it as a loop variable right now in all these cases the loop will repeats until the condition becomes false but here in case of break irrespective of this condition so this condition either it may be true or false if the control executes this break statement the control will come out from the loop right so this control comes out from the loop so irrespective of condition So even the condition is true, whenever the control executes this break statement, automatically it will be, I mean the control will come out from the loop. Next, continue. So here, in the case of continue, the control skip the current iteration and proceed with next iteration so every time every time the loop executes is called iteration so whenever the control executes this continue automatically that particular iteration will be skipped and the control will move on to the next iteration so that means if the control executes this break statement the control comes out from the loop if the control executes this continue statement the control skips the current iteration where this continue is existed and it will be proceeded with the next iteration right so hope you understood this minute difference between the break and continue now coming to the second one What is the difference between variable and array? Variable and array. See, variable array. So here we know that a variable is the alternate name given to the memory location. So here the memory, I mean, uh, everything will be stored in the memory and the, the memory will be identified by using the address that is a numerical 
so it is somewhat difficult to remember all the addresses so we can give some name to that particular memory location that we call it as a variable so if a is equal to 5 this indicates a is a variable which holds the value a that means this variable can hold only one value at a time so this variable cannot store a multiple values at a time so if you update here a is equal to 6 then 5 will be arranged and 6 will be assigned to a not but not the 5 and 6 so that means a variable can hold only one value at a time coming to this array array can hold a multiple elements of similar data type so as we know there are different data types so integer character float so whatever it may be array is also similar to a variable but it can hold multiple values of same data type so it can hold either the elements of integer data type it can hold the elements of character data type or it can hold the elements of float data type so this array is represented now how to differentiate this variable and array so array is defined by using this subscript so a of this one is called array simply a this is a variable right this is the array now if you mention the size a of 10 that implies a can hold 10 elements of same data type right so the declaration is common for both a variable and array so we have to declare so in this declaration we can write int a that means a is a variable which can hold only integer data type similarly int a of 10 it can this variable i mean this array can hold 10 elements of integer data type so all the elements should be of integer data type so this is the difference between variable and array variable can hold only one value at a time array can hold multiple values of same data type right now next the third one what is the difference between array and strings strings as we have discussed just now array is multiple elements with same data type right so here what about the strings what about the strings so let us take int a of 10 this implies it can hold 10 elements of integer data type similarly float a of 10 this implies 10 elements of float data type similarly character a of 10 this implies 10 characters it can hold 10 characters right so this third one we call it as a strings so in order to implement these strings so here the definition of a string is collection of characters and a group of characters so grouping of these characters under a single name is called array right array is a collection of similar data type elements so the character arrays we call it as a strings so a string can be implemented by using only the character array so that's why this is also called as character array character array so at the end of this string we will have the null pointer sorry null pointer so for every string the end of the string will be the null pointer whereas these two we call it as numeric arrays this is called character array so hope you understood the difference between array and strings so string is also array but it's a collection of 
characters right now let us see one more thing structure and array see array and structure the first difference is here we will use no keyword so whereas in declaration or implementation we will not use any of the keyword here we will use struct keyword struct keyword here group of elements of same data type so here it can accept a group of elements of different data types here we call it as elements here we call them as members so these are the major differences between this arrays and structure it, it is also a collection of elements of same data type it is a collection of elements of different data types so that's why here we call it as homogeneous and this is heterogeneous homogeneous elements heterogeneous elements homogeneous elements means the similar data elements i mean similar uh, the elements of same data type heterogeneous means elements of different data types right so let us stop here so these are the few questions so like this in every session we will learn around four or five interview questions so hope you understood this uh, simple questions and feel free to post your doubts in the comment section if you really like my videos like my videos share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for listening thank you very much